What's going on guys and just before I get into this video if you guys would like any coins check out the foot shop link will be down below You can use Calfreezy at checkout. It will give you a discount and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this um, Second World Cup squad video. I guess I did the very first one on England It got a really great reception So thank you guys ever so much for that and so we're back here and this time round we are doing Belgium now Bel Belgium for me have always had some really quality players in their um in their uh, sort of a national team well especially recently as well there's so many that have come into light and one of those players is in fact the goalkeeper Courtois he's actually a Chelsea goalkeeper but he's out playing for uh, Atletico Madrid at the moment and uh, yeah he is just quality all around he is really really good and uh, there's not really much else to say about him as far as he's really good in real life and also on FIFA he is a solid keeper I wouldn't say he was necessarily amazing on FIFA but he is a really good pickup now as far as the three center backs go, they are another three really, really good choices. I went for a 3-5-2 because they just don't... I don't think they had a left back or a right back, you know, in their World Cup squad that they um, called up. Now, um, bear in mind, of course, there are uh, Belgian left, right, uh, left, right, and right back, sorry, on the game, but not in their uh, World Cup squad that they did. So, you guys will have to double check that. But the best formation for me that I found was 3-5-2. And uh, I'll explain some of the troubles I had with actually this squad because of the players that they called up. As far as defensive midfielders go, I went with Fellaini, of course, just the biggest wagon in the world, in this game and in real life. And then I also went with Witzel, um, obviously, he went for quite a bit, actually, over to the Russian League, if I remember correctly. Um, anyways, at right midfield, I have Morales, and I really wish he was in the striker position. It would have made this team so much better to make, and uh, yeah, it just would have, it would have been so, so good. But regardless, um, this is what I have so far. The three center backs, they're good, they're not the fastest. This, but when you have company in the center backs, you can't complain too much. Those other two center backs are all actually part of the BPL and they are all really good. But I wouldn't get too crazy about them because they're not the quickest, but they are, of course, very strong. The only problem is if you come up against any sort of uh, pacey or any legend, because legends seem to be really strong and fast, you're gonna really struggle. Anyways, at left midfield, we have the team of the season Hazard. This was a player I was very excited to play a few games with. I hadn't yet had the chance to, and uh, or well, maybe I have an only played a couple but regardless I was really excited to play with him at can we have De Bruyne or I fuck that name okay anyways this guy is a monster he is so good in FIFA he is seriously seriously amazing I think he has another card which is a Bundesliga card as well um so you guys can uh, use that one if you want I believe it's the Wolfsburg but don't quote me on that and then out front we have got Lukaku the inform Lukaku and I know right we have Dembele I had to move him to striker Dembele for me is a really good player on this game but because of the players they called up to their squad there wasn't another good striker so um yeah unfortunately for that reason I had to move Dembele all the way from a cam up to a striker position and it actually worked out okay now for me the inform Lukaku is the biggest pile of shit you'll ever use I don't know why his normal card is really good he's strong he's quick and he has a decent touch his inform he's strong he's slow as shit and he has the touch of a rapist it is terrible I don't know why why in the world the inform Lukaku is so bad for me I'm not sure anyways this is the team I ended up going up with and uh, if you if you guys would like me to be perfectly honest with you and give you my absolute 100% honest thoughts, this team is honestly fucking terrible. It is really bad. I did not enjoy using it whatsoever. Um, it just wasn't fun to use, you know, at all. As you can see, Lukaku, he managed to get past him just relying on his strength there, which worked out okay. Um, headed it back, and it managed to go in and Witzel gets himself a goal there. But honestly, guys, I just wasn't impressed with this team. Everyone in the team had these really bad touches. I'm not sure why. The only one with a decent one was Team of the Season Hazard and uh, my cam. And besides that, that was really just about it. Um, as you can see, it's a bit of a solo run from Hazard. A bit of lag it means that I end up jolting around the pitch a little bit. But regardless, I end up getting the goal. And this next goal here was actually really nice. Now, I had to play a, you know, a, a number of game to just even get some goals because of this team attacking-wise is actually pretty poor. I thought it would be good. Um, you guys would all be expecting Benteke and things like that. You know, I could run with that. But he wasn't called up to the World Cup squad. And so, you know, for that, I'm a little bit disappointed. But that right there, that's the goal of this little video. I mean, right there, just fires 
that, and that's Dembele. Dembele was a much better striker than Lukaku, which just doesn't make sense. You know, he's a he's a cam, but I moved him up to a striker because I needed um, him to pair up with someone. And look at that for a strike. Honestly, Dembele was very, very impressive at the striker position. But that was honestly about it. That's the only good thing I can say about this squad. Dembele and Courtois were the only ones that made me think, okay, you know, I don't want to kill myself today. But the rest of them, I honestly got to the point where I just hated the game so much. Lukaku finally makes a decent run and puts it over the keeper's head as well, which was pretty nice. But yeah, overall, I just didn't enjoy using this team. And the only way to describe my two center defensive midfielders are wagons. They are both just the biggest wagons ever in this game. Fellaini and Witzel, you know, okay, they, they win most of the aerial jewels and stuff, but at the end of the day, their touch is abysmal. I don't know what it is. I just was not impressed with the squad. As you can tell, I don't usually rant over squads because, you know, at the end of the day, what comes down to whether a squad's good is how well you play with it yourself. Again, Dembele there with a really nice finish across goal. Overall, very impressed with him. But like I said, so my personal experience with this team was I didn't enjoy it at all, but at the same time, it, it could be someone's, you know, best team ever. They could love this team. So, um, Really, you're going to have to play with it yourself, but I just was not impressed with this team whatsoever. But regardless, I hope you did all enjoy this video. And if you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment, leave me, make sure to leave all that good shenanigans. And uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for support. And also, make sure you let me know which team you would like to see me do next. you still got Brazil, Italy, um, Spain. There's a few others that I'd like to do. So let me know in the comments which ones you want to see next. I'm sorry this was quite a negative squad. I just had so much frustration with this team. I didn't enjoy using it whatsoever. Regardless, I hope you guys give it a go and let me know your thoughts on the team. And uh, yeah, again, let me know what you want to see next. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.